Hello guys and welcome to my new video and today we're going to be covering a lot of things to do with add-ons and one of the most frequently asked questions is to do with my voice notifications and how do I get voice notifications in certain situations like for example when I need to interrupt something. This guy's gonna come out first. Interrupt. Or when I need to actually dodge something or when I need to move something. Curse Dodge. We're going to be covering this in this video. We're going to be talking about some of the add-ons that I feel are really, really mandatory for healers DPS. Basically everybody with some emphasis on healers as well. But generally speaking, I can't start this video with making a huge, huge disclaimer. Because the two tools that I'm going to be using in this video to acquire the add-ons and actually install them. So that means tools like, for example, Twitch Client, which everyone should be familiar by now. If you're not, you're missing out. It's a way of installing add-ons and it's really kind of click install type of deal. You don't have to do a lot of things. The mod section of Twitch Client is going away. There is a new company like Orwolf who acquired a company who does this and... Basically, you will, in the future, most likely, if you're watching this video, you might have to use a different tool to acquire add-ons. And in a lot of ways, you might have to use the Overwolf application itself, which I haven't tested myself. I'm not sure how good it is. And if you don't want to use Overwolf, there is an alternative to this. And a lot of people have talked about this. There is a video on how to use it, and that's called Curse Breaker. I'll link this information here. There's a Redditor who made a video about this. This is the actual Curse Breaker tool itself. This is the command line interpreter. Few people might be scared of this because if they haven't used command line tools before and things like that, it might be a little bit daunting, but overall it's a very easy way to maintain add-ons and keep them updated, which is very, very important. But generally speaking, we'll go to Twitch client and we'll use that. And I also have to mention that one of the main WeCores they'll be recommending, they're acquired from using website Wago.io, Wago, I don't know how you pronounce it properly, but either way, I think a lot of people know this. Uh, website it's very very popular if you don't please familiarize yourself with it a lot of people share really cool stuff on it the fact that Wago has been bought by method and if you know what's happening with method we're not sure what's gonna happen with this website there is a high chance that this might not exist in the future and there might be a clone websites happening so keep in mind Wago.io and twitch client they might not exist in the future and you'll be using other tools to get this. So that's the huge disclaimer. But as of right now, you can use them and you can get a lot of stuff. So first of all, let's start off with the most important thing and that is my voice notifications. How do I get this interrupt dodge type of deal? Voice notifications have been insanely, insanely mandatory in my eyes. And generally speaking, it is probably my most preferred way of getting notifications. Visual notifications are great, but voice, generally speaking get your attention faster there is a multiple ways of achieving it it's not just one add-on so first of all if you go to your uh, twitch client right now the first thing is dbm deadly boss mod and you probably have it already i'm not sure it's basically between dbm and uh, big wigs i think big wigs also has a voice notification for it but dbm so you have deadly boss mod insane insane strong you need to download dbm voice pack vem so this is kind of like a plugin that you get alongside with DBM. If you want to get them, you can go to the get more add-on section, type in VEM on the Twitch client, and you'll get a choice of DBM voice pack. VEM, as you can see here, if you want Arnold's voice, you can go and install that. If you want different types of voices, you can go and install those as well. So now if you actually go in the game and you type in forward slash in your, in your chat you can type in enter and then forward slash dbm you'll get an options for dbm you can get to see like the bosses being loaded and things like that go to the options section and make sure you click spoken alerts if you see the spoken alerts section you can see that set voice pack for spoken alerts vem english female now this might be different if you download it like you know arnold pack and things like that but this is the default what you get with vem you'll get this voice notification happening in certain boss fights and things like that so that's part one of getting voice notifications for your world of warcraft game or your world of warcraft user interface let's go to part two which is even more important go back to your twitch client and look for an add-on called shared media cosy so this is the add-on right here and this is your this is the this is the one this is a really really important add-on. if you click into it you can see here that basically 
it adds more sounds to a library shared media so it can be used with weak ors so this little package here is going to make weak ors that generally don't have a voice notification so they might have an icon appearing when you're doing a boss that tells you move or an icon appearing that tells you you need to spell something or you need to uh, you need to interrupt something and instead this add-on will also add voice notification to it if applicable so this is the key right now make sure you get this shared media courses and then after this you need to start getting weak ors again you can install weak ors using the same tool and uh, make sure you get weak ors too it's very 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 popular it has multiple 74 million downloads it's one of the most popular add-ons in the game because the amount of things you can do with it is absolutely insane make sure you install weak ors make sure you install shared media courses now if you install those two add-ons they're not going to do anything if they don't have the right package so now you need to get the right package for let's say raid or mythic plus and this is why vago or vago again is really really popular because there is an insane amount of contribution happening here in terms of big raid packages. This is the number one thing you should do when a new raid is released or is going to be released is go to Wago, go to Weak Auras, and basically let's say Nihilota. You never do Nihilota before, this is a new raid. You don't know what bosses are doing, you don't know what mechanics are there. You can click on this and you can go into the options and let's say views, filter by views. And usually, generally speaking, the number one option is going to be a package that is very, very good and it's going to provide you with notifications. In this case, it's going to be Cossies, the same type, the same guy or girl who did the add-on. So you can go into this and you'll see that it has a lot of different notifications for bosses. So you move away, tank dot, link, soap, turn, all of these notifications here. And this is all already made for you. Again, select weak ors, go into dungeons, make sure you click on the dungeons, not actually specific dungeons, and go search by views. Views, again, generally the best ones are going to go to the top. And you can see here, I'll talk about this later on, but you can see here that you have a BFA dungeons by Relo, very, very popular. Very, this guy makes a lot of really nice weak ors packages. Very, very good. Uh, I personally like this weak ors package here for dungeons by uh, Tyralis. I'm not sure if I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but this week or package I've been using for a while and I like how it looks. And even if you copy and install this and install it into your UI, this will still give you voice notifications. So this is how you get those voice notifications for Mythic Plus and Raids. So now let's go to a second week or a package that I feel is as mandatory as you can get, especially for healers, but also DPS and tanks can pick it up because it's gonna help you out in raids and mythic plus. And you already seen this. You already seen this. If you go to Wago.io, the package Dungeon Targeted Spells is insanely, insanely important. This is going to make your health frames. So it doesn't matter if you're using Grid 2, it doesn't matter if you're using the default health frames, LVI health frames, Healbot, or whatever. This is going to add notification to your frame showing that, hey, there is going to be, like, let's say, for example, the Nettles from Waycrest Manor, second boss, the Witches. It's going to show nettles. Who's going to get nettles or is being casted onto that person so that person can use damage reduction or whatever or get ready to pop their health potion. Super, super important. Honestly, one of the most mandatory weakers in the game, especially if you're a healer. Again, copy weaker import string. There's one gripe that I have with this. I feel you have to kind of modify it to make it better. So if you copy the import weak ors and you go back to your game. So go into the game and type in forward slash WA to open up the weak or options. You go to imports and control V to import dungeon targeted spells. Now this is going to import the group. And the only thing that I would change here is uh, I don't really like this here. If you expand this, you can see a sound when targeted by boss. And this is going to make a noise like peep or something along those lines, if you get targeted by a boss. And as a healer or a DPS, the only time you're going to be targeted by a boss is whether the tank lost aggro or is dead, or if the boss is going to use an ability on you. And I don't really need this, so I either go to, I select sound when targeted by a boss, I go into load options, and I either click never, or I just right click and delete, because I don't want this at all. And this is the thing that I change. But generally speaking, if you want to customize anything, you can click on the parent, which is the dungeon target spells, go into custom options and there's a lot of custom options here specifically target names on nameplates a lot of people don't really want their nameplates to be clogged up by the name of the player who the enemy is targeting and if you don't want that you can go and select disable 
And if you kind of want this, you can enable. So you can see there's a lot of options here, especially with the spells that you can add as well. Um, so this is really, 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 really cool. Definitely the most mandatory weak aura for healers and generally a lot of other people. I wish this was actually part of the default World of Warcraft game itself. And just to finish up the video really quickly with some of the most asked questions. These are some of the add-ons that I really, really like. And this is my damage meters. This is called Details. Extremely, extremely popular and really, really good. There's a lot of details of damage meters add-ons or HVS meter add-ons out there. Details is by far the best, believe me. It has become so good over the time and especially what people ask me about is how can i see my dps even though i'm doing it like a 20-man raid and i might be really at the bottom how does my player's dps always shows up you can go into the into the options of details you can click the little cog icon here as well you go into the options and you go to bars advanced and you can click always show me this is always going to show you regardless of how low or high high your hps is or dps is and this is always going to show you in the frames and generally speaking the little thing here that you can see you can see the cast bars my rejuvenation man skills i'm casting growth i'm casting things i'm casting spring blossoms or fluorescence this little bar here is called details streamer plugin and it's part of the actual details add-on details have a lot of plugins and if you go to actual options you can see here plugin management and the only plugins right now that I have is streamer, detail streamer plugin. You can click on the options here and change a lot of things. But generally speaking, this is what I get asked a lot. Detail streamer plugin for this little thing. Again, this is mainly for streamers to showcase what they're doing. I don't think you really need it if you're not streaming, but who am I to judge if you want to have this little pretty add-on? Generally speaking, another last add-on that I want to talk about is my bag add-on. And this is what a lot of people have asking me. And this is Adi Bags. This is Ali Bags. Now, the thing with Ali Bags, you get to create these little subsections of gear, armor, jewelry, weapon, Azeroid gear, corruption gear. Now, you can do this manually or you can actually install external plugins called Ali Bags Corruption Gear, Ali Bag Hearthstone, Ali Bag Consumables or whatever. So you don't have to create these groups. They're going to be managed for you by itself. If you actually go to the add-on section of your game, you can see here Adi Bags, I have Azeroid gear, Adi Bags, I have Adi Bags Corruption gear, I have Adi Bags Hearthstone. Adi Bags zone items caused me issues before and I disabled this. I think it's been fixed, but it did cause me a bit of lag. So keep that in mind. I think it's been fixed overall. So there is a lot of plugins, but believe it or not, sometimes getting too many plugins can cause this um latency when you open up your bag so be careful with certain just update your add-ons keep your add-ons updated as much as possible if you don't update your add-ons a lot of times they might break especially with new patches and that's the general consensus of the general advice i hope this video wasn't too long i hope this video wasn't too complicated i really hope you get to sort out your ui with the voice notifications because in my eyes that's the number one priority because i cannot live with voice notifications anymore it is insanely insanely good especially with dealing with new bosses check out again the disclaimer Wago might not be here. I don't know. Uh, Twitch client is definitely not going to be here in the future. So get ready to either migrate to o Overwolf or try and using Curse Breaker and things like that. Believe it or not, add-ons is or they provide a direct advantage to your gameplay. Whether you like it or not, you can improve your gameplay as a healer, DPS or a tank with the use of add-ons. Again, that's another discussion for another day. But let me know how you feel about this. Let me know how you feel about all of it. Again, your subscriptions and things like that to the channel help me to continue to do these videos. And I hope you like the content. And if you like it, please leave a like and, uh, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in my next.